so we'll be using standard tuning here, E, A, D, G, B, E. And for this intro, outro section, just two chords. And we're just kind of doing like a ride on beat, like quarter notes drumming with it. And basically we're gonna do four sets of four. And the first chord be G major seven. And we do it three, E, five, A, and the four on the D. All right, get some nice overdrive on there, some reverb, have some fun with it. And like I said, we're just strumming away, uh, quarter note style. Okay, about 16 strums. You can get a little loose with it, it's up to you, no big deal. And then we just come off to a open E power chord, so the open E with the two on the A and D here, and then same feel with that. All right, and over the top of that, uh, we get a little lead thing going, and it'll zoom up here in this area, like the seven, nine spots here, and uh, we start on the D string, slide up to 9, all right, hit the 7G back to 9D, then go to 9A. All right, and then we kind of come up to that again, the 9D, bounce between the 7G, 9D, 7D, and then we walk down the B from 10, 8, 7. All right, and for the verse, uh, we go back to our G major 7, the 3, 5, and 4 here, strum it just the same, just, you know, maybe a little, like, chill. All right, and then we want a B minor, but we kind of want, like, the low inversion of it, I guess, so uh, we'll zoom up here and basically just do a B power chord at the 7E with the 9A, but then we want the open D for the minor there, just ringing under it. Okay, and that way it'll kind of share some some notes with that G major 7 too, all right? So just kind of like try to be as out as you can here so that we get the open G ringing out. All right, and a uh, pre-chorus section comes in and it's more just some lead stuff going on here. Um, the overall chords are like a B sus 2 to E to G major 7. Um, but we're kind of playing around with the notes in it. So we do that similar slide up on the 9D, hit the 7G, and hit our 10B. But then we want this 7A when it switches to the E there. All right. It's almost like a purple haze thing. All right. But uh, 9, 7, 10 there to 7A. All right. And then we slide the 9D. 7G, 7B with a little bend and release. All right, back to the 9, 7, 10. 7A. And now we kind of shift to this D major 7 to B minor. So we go down here, 5A, 4D, 6G. Then up to our barred B minor. So we go 7E, 9A, hit the 7G, 7B. lead us into the chorus, which starts again with our G major 7, the 3, 5, 4. Okay, same amount of times. Um, but after that, we switch to a new chord. We go D major 7, sus 2, and then I throw like an A on top just to get it even bassier. So uh, we want the 5A, 7, D, 6G, 5B. And if you incidentally hit like an open high E, that's cool. It's just an extra E octave there. But I also like to throw this 5 on the E with it just to kind of like fill it out a little more, make a little punch, you know. Okay, strum that out. Same amount of times, four sets of four. Go back to the G major 7 for the same amount. And then we finish with our B minor, the 7, 9, with the open D. For the bridge section, uh, things kind of chill out again, and we're picking through the G major 7 a bit, uh, and it kind of throws like a, a sixth of the scale in there too, so a uh, little funky, but uh, same deal really. 3, E, 5, A, then we want to op hit the open B, back to the 4, D, then open high E, open B. just come off, hit an open E power chord. 
right? And the only other kind of different thing that happens uh, at the ending, the very end of the song, we just get a little something extra here, a little new thing where we slide this B sus two out, the seven E nine A eleven D. All right, just slide that out to the open E power chord. Then we pick through our G major seven, the three five four, and just back up five A three E. Pick that this couple times through, and you can repeat that section a couple times, and then the song just kind of fades out from there, and then uh, you should be all set.